Good evening. As we let the year 2020 pass by, we have to ask ourselves some questions, or one question or so, concerning yourself and concerning your destiny. Is this what you want from your life? What you have right now, is this what you want from your life? Is this how you are going to continue in 2021? No matter the matter, the situation you are facing, in every situation, God has got a word in that situation. When you look in the whole entire world now, the strong, the weak, the rich, the poor, God has equalized everyone. You can have your resources, but you're not, you're not going to use your resources anyway. You can't fly to some countries, and some countries can't allow some countries. These are just birth pens of what the Lord Jesus Christ said in the Gospels. It is not the end of the world, but these are signs of the end of the world. God sometimes uses setbacks to move a nation forward. Know your destiny and pursue it. That's in 2021. Like in our country here in South Africa right now, stop living by what you see. Stop living by what you read or hear. Stop living by your circumstances or your feelings because these Feelings, circumstances, what you see, what you read, what you hear, will lead you to sin, will lead you to trouble, will lead you into a lot of problems. What we need right now in our country is a praying church, praying individuals. Faith must Always control your life, not your circumstances. Faith must always control your life, not your circumstances. What the world is passing through, in particular South Africa, these two shall pass away. It's not there permanently. Yes, Africa needs to be moved and shaken. We are the last people to realize what is happening. And um, even when you look at the medication that they're manufacturing, Africa, I think, is the last somewhere there. Africa should wake up. We serve the same God. But it's our attitude, it's our thinking that always we got to receive. This has happened so that Africa can be saved. And God will bless Africa. Moses was born in Africa. But Pharaoh's uh, stepson. Jesus Christ came to Africa. So God has got a soft heart for Africa, but it's us who have not yet realized what to do. But 2020, God will do something miraculous for the continent. That will happen. Concerning your situation, 
personal situation, the Lord says, though you walk in the, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that was in 2020. 2021, it is the year that the Lord has made for you. You will rejoice and be glad in it. In Isaiah 65, 16, the Bible reads, So that he who blesses himself in the earth shall swear by the God of the truth, and he who swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hidden from our eyes. By these scriptures, where you are coming from does not matter now. What 2020 brought does not matter now. So something God is doing. We must not always focus backward. God, what is about to do, no one can stop it. No man. God, what is about to do in your life, no man can stop it. It's in your life. There's nothing to fear. God has blessed you with a future. God, when you look at all things, here you are. But the, you had a lot of fear. You had a lot of doubt whether you want to make it into 2021. Become a better person in 2021. Make it your desire and make it your determination to become a better person. Isaiah 65, 17 reads, For behold, I create a new heavens and earth, and the former shall not be remembered or come to mind. The former shall not be remembered or come to mind. Yes, there has been a trying time. We have gone through a lot. Pain, trouble, difficulties, sicknesses and diseases. Some of us have lost dear ones. But the Lord says, look, the former shall not be remembered or come to mind for what is about to do. You are to change your thoughts. You are to change your words. You are to change your actions. Change your thoughts, change your words, and change your actions. Otherwise, what God is saying, you are not going to be a partaker. It will be difficult for you because of your thinking. It will be difficult or almost impossible because of what you are saying about the situation. In Isaiah 18, God says, um, Isaiah 65 verse 18, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem as a rejoicing and our people a joy. In verse 19 says, I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. The voice of weeping shall no longer be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. The voice of fear, the voice of hardship, the voice of intimidation, the voice of feeling of hopelessness, the voice of difficulty shall no longer be heard in your life and in your country. This is the promise of God for your life. It shall never be heard. 2020 is gone with its difficulty, with its troubles, with its hardships. God never creates one, same, one year twice. Never. God is progressive. There was a purpose as to why we had to go through what we had to go through. 
and people who are saying it's the end of the world, please read the Bible. We have turned away from God. We have made man-made things to take place of God. And no one can compete with God, the whole world. This has shown that there's no country powerful, there's no man powerful. God is the all-powerful one. God has humbled all of us, no matter who you are in society, no matter what they call you, no matter what you thought about yourself. All of us, God has made us to realize, always remember your last day here on earth. No one lives here permanently. It's not the accumulation of finances or material that will save you. People have got all these things, but they're leaving us one by one. But God is giving hope. It says, the voice of weeping shall no longer be heard. It is gone. It, it, it's finished. It's done. The voice of hardship of 2020 shall no longer be heard. Now you have to commit yourself to him and you will be strong. Committing yourself to him and you shall be strong. Putting your trust in the arm of flesh, you always be in trouble. Man has got limitation. God is limitless. Man reaches a stage where his power comes to an end. God's power is limitless. Know this. Even as you enter 2021, obstacles, difficulties, hardships may come your way because you have chosen to reach a particular goal in 2021. The difficulty, the problem, whatever it may be, it is not there to destroy you. It is there to increase your desire and determination to achieve it. That's 2021. Any obstacle you see your way, any difficulty you encounter, any challenge in 2021 that comes your way, it has been sent in order to increase your desire and determination to achieve your goal. It's not there to make you stop achieving your goal. Deal away with sophistication in 2021. Sophistication is not the answer. Sophistication is not the answer in 2021. Get rid of it. The greatest wisdom of 2021 is simplicity. With simplicity, you are going to avoid a lot of hardship. You are going to avoid a lot of unnecessary headaches, a lot of unnecessary fights, hurts, and pain. Simplicity, that's the greatest wisdom in 2021, not sophistication. In life, all of us, those that have lived some time now, in life, there are questions that can be answered. But also in life, there are questions that cannot be answered. Get that very clear. Because a lot of us, we waste our time in questions that do not have answers. It's there in the world. 
you can have many, many questions, but there are no answers to this question. There are also questions that have got answers. Commit yourself to God and everything will be clear. When you are distant from God, you'll be asking questions that do not have answers. And because of that, you are going to allow yourself to be deceived by so many deceivers in the world right now. You are going to be reading a lot of things because you want to find answer to a situation, to an answer to a question where there's no answer. But if you go, you go to God, God will tell you, this for now, there's no answer. And it is for your good. It is for your good. You may find an answer that will destroy you. That's why there's no answer to this question. In 2021, please do not fear to say, I don't know. When you don't know, say, I don't know. You are going to stop destroying your own life. You are going to stop going astray in kilometers away from the way of truth. Get closer to God for all your negativity to melt away from your life. The, one, the closer you come to God, the more you come to God, the negativity starts melting away from you. You cannot go into God's presence with negativity. Never. Negativity will stop you getting closer to God or you get closer to God and you will not have negativity. One of the two should go away. Learn to speak to God. It's not difficult, but because of sophistication, speaking to God like you are speaking to your father, and God is a father. We have to learn that art of speaking to God about everything, in every situation. And the more you speak to God, your heart gets cleansed of impurities. You are speaking to God alone. You got to find time. I don't understand this. I want to speak to my Heavenly Father. Speak everything. The impurities that were in your heart are being cleansed. And the closer and the sweeter your fellowship with God, the better your life. In 2021, reactivate your belief system. Your belief system is not in line with biblical principles. We go in and out of the Bible. Revaluate them. God has given us another chance. God has given us another opportunity. He created everything and he created you. And now he's saying, create something before you come back, back to, to him. What are you going to create before you go back to God? He created you for a purpose. Concerning your prayer and your prayers, God will give you what you've been praying for. Do not push. Do not do that. No, 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 no. Remain calm. What you have prayed for, God will surely give you. In 2021, your entire life must depend on faith 
and prayer, then you see what will happen to your life. Your entire life to depend on faith and prayer. In business, depend on faith and prayer. In your marital life, depend on faith and prayer. Children's future depend on faith and prayer. Everything. When you are going to be that person, because faith and prayer, the promises will follow. Faith and prayer, genuine faith, not imagination. Faith and prayer, promises will follow. Divine providence will be evident in your life this year. Divine providence. Not man-made. Some of the things you asked God, you forgot. Completely forgot. Because you thought God had forgotten you. You thought God did not hear your prayer. God had everything. It was not the time, it was not the place, and your age, you are not yet at the right age. But now, everything about you is fine. That's why divine providence will be evident in your life. Even your friends shall know and say, this, we have seen the work of God in your life. A lot of people are standing by the fence. They know your belief. They know what you stand for. And you have been faithful with God for years and years and years. But you have never seen something that is uh, supernatural. That's why now it's a year of divine providence. Don't lose hope. Those who lost their self-worth, God is restoring your self-worth. You will attain a new sense of self. You will value yourself. You will respect yourself. There will be that sense of self attaining that sense of self. Not looking down upon yourself. Not despising yourself. No. That will come from God. All your prayers will be answered in 2021. But you got to know how to maintain them. Prayer, answered prayer, is a beginning of responsibilities. It's not for, jo for joking. It's for a purpose. Your purpose and for God's glory. Let it be a good year and it will, be much, it will have a much, much success. 2020 is gone, please. With all its difficulties, with all its pain and all. So let us begin thinking anew, talking anew, seeing things different. And please, there's this one thing that the Lord is asking you to this morning. In 2020, as you start living your 2020 life, belief in God is non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Things will be tough before you, but it shouldn't be, you cannot negotiate and you see God come through. Why? The church has been in spiritual coma for many years. Generations. People are scared to face circumstances and situations. They negotiate with other people apart from God. 2020, start from now. Your faith and your belief in God is non-negotiable. 
none. That's why God is asking you this morning, in 2020, what do you want to do with your life? Simple question. What do you want to do with your life? In 2021, what is your life purpose? He has used setbacks in your life to align you, to see whether what you are asking, you are sure and determined and you want it. You ask, it takes. You ask, you take. It takes, there's competition. There's this and this. But he wants to see how determined you are. Now, you have crossed over. Now, he says, he knows from beginning, your faith has grown. Your faith has not weakened. Never look back in 2020. Whether it was good or bad, middle or whatever it was, it's gone. Where we're going is nearer than where we're coming from. Let us achieve. Let us leave a footprint here on earth. Leave a footprint here when you're gone. People to know and remember you. And there's no need of complaining. Whether you had food or you didn't have food. Whether you prayed or you didn't pray. Whether you fasted or you didn't fast. The main thing now is you are here. You have made it in 2021. Amen. That's the main thing. So stop looking at all these things. You are starting afresh. Begin everything afresh. Fear not. Fear not. Move far away from fear. Fear and faith cannot dwell together. Do something great this 2021. Do, don't wait for anyone. It's a year of the miraculous. It's a year of rewards. It's a year of miraculous interventions. 2021. Miraculous. Uh, others, business-wise, there's too much money, but people don't have ideas to create wealth. But you see the miraculous intervention. Don't complain. Even right now, as I'm talking to you, a miraculous intervention, even those that are listening and watching by television and YouTube, a miraculous intervention has taken place now in your life. It has. You may look the same and all and all. This is miraculous. You see when you start living, don't forget this. This miraculous intervention, please, I beg you, take it for yourself. Take it for your house. Where you stay? Take it for your children. This miraculous intervention. There was a problem with your daughter. There was a problem with your son. There was a problem with your mama, papa. Miraculous intervention has taken place. Amen. Take it for your church. There was so much strife. There was so much gossip at all. People distanced themselves from God. Take it for your church, that your church, people grow closer to God. Take it for your country. Your country has drifted further and further away from God. Man-made objects are competing with what God is. God has, no, has got no competitor. No. Take it to your country. Let your country come back to God. Let your country become true worshippers and true seekers of God. Do not faint this time. The church of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you now, is stronger 
and more powerful than before. Amen. The quietness that you have seen is not because of fear or the fainting. There's so much prayer going in the houses. So much prayer going in secret places, in caves, in mountains. You watch, you watch. Just watch and pray that you are not going to miss what God is about to do for his church. It's huge. God wants to make his name popular again, famous again, as it was in the beginning, God had people had reverence for God. People feared God. Even in the book of Acts, those who became Christians, people were fearing to join them because of who they became. That time is coming again. Your prayer is heard. Even your thoughts. God has seen, has seen your thoughts. Give yourself to much prayer. Instead of talking, complaining, murmuring, just give yourself to much prayer. I said, talk to God. Have time. Go away. Talk to God. Yes. Prayer for a country, God has said. For each country, what the political situation is in different countries, God has said. And it's God who, who moves the hearts of our leaders. It's God. And it's God who puts one up and it's God who puts one down. It's God. God has said our prayers. We, as human beings, all over the world, Black, white, colored, Indian, whatever, nationality, whatever color. We have all gone through a season of pain. We are now entering a season of gain. Amen. This the season of gain now. Make God's word final in your life. Make it final. Don't doubt it. Doubt your situation, but not God's word. Take God's word to your heart and truly make it part of you. This God's word. Don't leave it there. It should be take it to your heart and truly make it part of you. God's word by nature, when you have it, it will change you. God's word changes you. God's word will bless you. God's word will heal you. God's word will deliver you. God's word is so powerful. It does everything. We lack God's word. Let's change in 2021. Let's love the things of God more. The signs of his coming are everywhere. It's draft. Those who, who play draft, they know. This where we are now is checkmate. One, two moves, everyone will notice what God is doing in the world. One, two, three moves, that's parable. When you have the, the, the word of God in your heart, you will be able to tell the mind of God to people. The mind of God to people. When you have God's word in your heart, you will see God's opinion God's opinion about yourself and about others. 
you will see it clearly. There's room for everyone. There's room for you, and there's room for me to improve in 2021. There's that room. All we've got to do now, look, it's miraculous intervention. Just pray for mercy. I, I said, he has heard your prayer. Mercy has been the problem. You got to pray for mercy. You got to pray for favor. You got to pray for abundant blessing. That's all for this year. Mercy, favor, abundant blessing. And take God's word into your heart. In conclusion, Yes, a lot of people desire to hear prophets about this and that. That will come. First people should move out of fear. The question that you got to answer yourself is, is this what you want from your life? The way you are right now, the way you are feeling, the way you see things, what is happening with your life? Is this the way what you want from your life? Is this how you are going to continue in 2021? No matter the matter, God is more than able. No matter the matter, God is more than able and God is your father. While you are desiring to see change and all, please commit yourself afresh. That's all the prayer God wants. Commit, get closer to him. Get closer to him. When you know him, the questions you have, the worries you have, the anxieties you have, will all disappear. Your life will change. Your life can change. And your life must change Amen. in 2021. God bless you all. And God bless our country. God bless Africa. God bless the world. We look to you. We are turning back to you. We have drifted f very far away from you. But give us that desire to pray and to seek for you more and more. Thank you for that it's a year of revelation and in interventions, miraculous interventions. Make us to be faithful in everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.